In this lesson, Reading Comprehension, I'm going to talk to you about getting a rhythm as you read. Once you have a rhythm with your reading, your comprehension will improve about 85%. You will notice different numbers in the passage that you will read today. If you see the number two, you should pause for two seconds. If you see the number one, you should pause for one second. If you see the number three, you should pause for three seconds. I will illustrate with the first paragraph. Today, one, two, millions of people, one, want to learn or improve their English, one, but it is difficult to find the best method, one, two, three. Is it better to study in Britain, one, or America, one, or to study in your own country, one, two, three. Now, if you notice, each time I see a comma, I pause automatically for two seconds. Each time I see a period, I pause for three seconds. Somewhere in between, I pause for one second based upon my very own rhythm. Your rhythm may be every fifth word or every third word, sometimes every two words, but you will find your own rhythm. Now I will begin without letting you know the numbers. Just follow along in the reading comprehension. This article is from the ESL Lounge online. Today, millions of people want to learn or improve their English, but it is difficult to find the best method. Is it better to study in Britain or America or to study in your own country? The advantages of going to Britain seem obvious. Firstly, you will be able to listen to the language all the time you are in the country. You will be surrounded completely by the language wherever you go. Another advantage is that you have to speak the language if you are with other people. In Italy, it is always possible in the class to speak Italian if you want to and the learning is slower. On the other hand, there are also advantages to staying at home to study. You don't have to make big changes to your life, as well as this. It is also a lot cheaper than going to Britain, but it is never possible to achieve the results of living in the UK. If you have a good teacher, in Italy, I think you can learn in a more concentrated way than being in Britain without going to a school. So, in conclusion, I think that if you have enough time and enough money, the best choice is to spend some time in the UK. This is simply not possible for most people. So, being here in Italy, is the only viable option. The most important thing to do in this situation is to maximize your opportunities to speak only English in class and to try to use English whenever possible outside the class. In my professional opinion, if you practice reading with rhythm, your comprehension will improve immensely. Thank you for listening. I am Dr. Priscilla.